Oh my gosh. Would you look at these dungarees? Do you just look so cute today? Yeah? You want that back? Ta. Ta. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got wet hair. Apologies for that. I um, had a shower just before the school ran. So, yeah, still wet from that. I've literally just dropped Leo off at school and me and Cooper popped into Asda just to get a few bits and bobs that we'd run out of. You know, don't you hate it when that happens midweek? And you do a little midweek, like, mini, mini shop. Obviously, I needed more blot nose relief because I have hay, hay fever. Did I mention that I have hay fever? <laughs> Literally all I talk about right now. But yeah, welcome back guys. Hope you're all doing good. So we have a potentially exciting day ahead of us today. Today for me is a pretty normal day. Obviously I'm at home with Cooper. I've got some work bits to do today. Got a bit of filming, obviously I'm filming this, but um, I'm also filming for a brand today. So I've got my work stuff to do, but um, Clint is actually working locally today, which is a very rare occasion, and he's only working in the morning. He'll be home this afternoon, and the plan is finally put our hot tub in. I feel like I told you guys a million years ago that we were getting a hot tub, and you're probably like, this girl, this girl's having a sum. The hot tub actually arrived weeks ago, like two weeks ago. And basically we had a slight, slight issue. Issue being <laughs> that it wouldn't fit down the side of our house. Basically we had a plug installed on the side of our house because we need um, electricity obviously outside for the hot tub ironically. And the plug is on the side of the house and yeah, obviously the plug's like quite wide and took up some space in the side of the house and it meant that the hot tub could not slide through because the plug was in the way. So we had to leave the hot tub where it, was, where it is basically. So it's been on the drive for two weeks. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look, it's, you know, it's not usable. It literally looks like this. Look at that. Wow, that looks luxurious, doesn't it? So it's been sat there for two weeks like teasing us. But today, obviously we needed all the stars to align. We needed Clint to have a day at home. We needed him to have enough boys to help him because it weighs a ton um and we needed someone to be able to move to take off the plug for us and put the plug back on so we needed all those stars to align to be able to sort out this little problem but it looks like today is the day i don't want to jinx it because we thought today was the day a few days ago and it wasn't it all fell through potentially by the end of this vlog we could have a working hot tub so that's the exciting thing happening today. Otherwise, it'll just be a sort of normal spend the day with me. So yeah, I just need to put these food bits and bobs away. Nice. Sorry if you can hear a little baby bum in the background. Pretty much the soundtrack to our days. Also, are you loving the new additions to my little display cabinet? There's more up there. <laughs> It's that one hanging on that is my absolute favorite. Leo's put all these around and told me under no circumstances am I allowed to move them. So they're just part of the home now. We are just having a little snack and some baby bum before nap time. I think since the last time I spoke to you, things have changed. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I've been talking a little bit about nap times and transitioning from one from two sorry to one nap he was in a real habit of having his two naps and I, I was in a habit too you know both of us and i really wanted him to get just down to one good nap um in the hope that he would start sleeping in a bit later than 5 a.m yeah the transition period from two to one naps is not overnight like i'd say it's taken us a good like week 10 days to really get there but we're definitely there. I'll wipe your hands. I'll give your hands a little wipe. Yeah. Stinky muzzy is so useful. Yeah. Not just for comforting needs, but for wiping 
mucky hands. So yeah, it, it, it did take, um, it did take a minute, but we have definitely got there. He is definitely in one nap. He, he knows to stay awake on the way home from the school run now, whereas before he would just shut his eyes and go to sleep in the car. And then, yeah, we come home, we spend like an hour together and then he goes up for his nap at like 10. And then he'll have a good sort of two and a half, three hours, so he won't really wake up till half 12, one o'clock. And then that takes him through to, to bedtime. So that's new, that's a little, little update, little life update for you guys. So the time now is like quarter to 10, 10 to 10. So we're just gonna have 10 minutes of a little cuddle and a play, and then I will take him up to, to bed. When he's in bed, I will, um, sort my hair out <laughs> and um yeah just get on with a few bits and bobs that i need to do like i said i've got a bit of filming that i need to to start today excuse me i'm grabbing my camera oi But I figured it's not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver, your hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger, alright This very finger for people like them, oh no, no But darling, oh my, my, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown, world and high happy boy he didn't have very long there's me saying he has like two and a half three hours he had under two hours and he's just woken up not being very happy what's the matter my prince so we're just having a little snuggle trying to improve the mood over here hey when he cheers up i'll um I'll make him some lunch and that always improves the mood. I think he just wants a little snug for now. Um, yeah, I got I got everything that I needed to get done anyway. And I think Clint should be home really any any moment now to start trying to move the gigantic hot tub. I'll sort some lunch for all the lads that are coming to help as well, probably. Yeah, I'm just gonna give this one a minute to um, wake up and feel better. And then I'll make him some lunch. So on the menu today, for Mr. Koopy Bear, we have a hot crust bun. I'm just gonna give him this to eat while I make him some other bits. He's got a couple of tears because mummy was taking too long making it. The toaster isn't as quick as he would like, unfortunately, but all is well. Now he's got his hot crust bun. Okay, for afters, he's just got a couple of rice cakes, a few veggie straws, and some raspberries because they're his favorite. But I won't show him just yet. I'll let him finish his hot crust bun because if he sees this now, he'll just drop it all on the floor. So I wait till he's finished with that and then I will bring this over for him. But while he's finishing his um, hot crust bun, it's just occurred to me that I don't think I've showed you our new sofa. Here he is. The cushions are temporary. They're a bit old and stained and overused. Um, so I'm going to replace them with some better cushions. But this is the let me take one off so you can see there you go so this is called the souffle sofa by loaf um and the fabric is called clever velvet so in the living room our sofas in the living room are made by loaf with clever velvet and it's just so easy to clean so easy to clean you know almost stain free i would say so I really wanted the same in here for obvious reasons. So far, it has had a few things spilt on it. We've had a bit of milk dropped on it. Um, Leo had some chocolate on it the other day and he dropped a bit. And so far, everything has come up 
come up beautifully. Look at that. Even on the side here, um, this morning I noticed there was a big scratch where the little raptor over there was little raptor claws <laughs> that he never lets me gut. Probably caught it with his nail. So I just, there it is there, you can see because it's still wet. So I just went over it with a wet cloth and yeah and it was gone so yeah he's a new little addition to our to our kitchen obviously all nicely topped off with my beautiful action figure display <laughs> fair to say he enjoyed his hot crust bam moved on to the second course haven't we mate what are you gonna have first rice cake oh no change of heart oh no <laughs> you can't decide do you want to see a daily occurrence when it's sunny? As soon as the sun comes out. Look at this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you going to come inside? Hmm? Oh, love it how it's doing. Oh, is that nice on your head? Love the sunshine, don't you, darling? I don't know why he loves it out here so much. Like, he could go in the garden whenever he wants. But... He just loves sitting here, and maybe it's a dormer, I don't know. But he's very happy. So, we are going to get some lunch for the lads that are helping put in the hot tub, as I mentioned. How beautiful is it today, by the way? Such a lovely day, which is why I was going to put Cooper in the car and go down to the shops, and then I thought, it's such a lovely day, we will walk. So, we're just walking down to Asda to get some lunch for everybody. You loving the weather? Are you loving the weather? Hey? Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I haven't been at the camera for a few hours and oh my gosh, I look absolutely crazy. What what's happening? I look very hot and bothered and I've just been up in Leo's bunk reading a story with him for ages, hence, I don't know. So it's been hours since I picked up the camera, and yeah, I have an update to show you. Switched off from vlogging because it was just a really busy few hours. Obviously we had people here helping with the hot tub, then we were filling the hot tub, setting it up, um, and then it was just the craziness of dinner time, bath time, and then Clint has now gone, so he has gone to work away now till friday so he'll be gone for the next three days so he's literally just gone and the boys have just gone to bed so it's gone from being go 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 to silent house basically <laughs> which is not a bad thing i'm looking forward to a silent early night i think obviously obviously i'm going to show you the garden before i switch off so it is in place it is full it's just um taking a while obviously to get to temperature because you put in like freezing cold water and um takes a few hours to um get to hot tub temperatures although we're gonna probably have it a little bit cooler at the moment so the boys can go in when it's nice and hot and it'd be you know cool but yeah it's there there's still a lot to do and i'll explain why let's um let's go see okay the garden's an absolute tip drying sheet over there product that i need to film with yeah hose pipes everywhere clock that should be on that wall but we had to take down gate that needs to go back up but we had to take down drain pipe that we had to take down <laughs> that needs to go back up yeah but it's in okay so obviously that's all of the wrapping and everything carpet isn't staying <laughs> this was so it was just to help get it in without damaging it basically but here it is let's have a look there you go guys oh it's got to 24 degrees now it's getting there let me set the scene for you so it's in um we are having decking going around so all of these lovely weeds yeah this will all be covered so we've got like black decking that will go all around there and it will step 
like one, two, three. So there'll be three steps to get into the tub. Um, and then we'll have cushions and things on there as well because there's going to be a screen here. So we'll tuck it away up there, pull it down when we need it. But yeah, projector screen here. Lovely little like seating bit and the tub at the back. That's the end goal. <laughs> <laughs> we will get there. Obviously the main thing was getting that into place and that was the main the main thing to do So that's a big relief that that is all done and dusted And tomorrow is supposed to be really really hot So like I said, I'm gonna set it to a like slightly cooler setting and then maybe after school Me and the boys will have a little dip tomorrow. Let's see. Oh my gosh I need to go and have a cold shower and uh, just sort myself out a little bit Guys, thank you so much for watching my latest vlog. As always, I promise when everything is done, done, there will be a proper garden tour. Um, but there's just still, there's just still bits to do. And where Clint um, has really sort of taken the reins with the garden, which he wanted to do, and then obviously he's gone a lot, so it's just taking a while to get all those bits and bobs done. But yeah, hopefully it won't be too much longer. Right, yeah, I'm gonna go have a cold shower. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.